Have you ever come across integration? If yes, then I'm sure you might have come across some onerous problems. Here, I will teach you easy and a shortcut method to solve integration by using scientific calculator. I am Justin D'Souza. This is my channel, Best Math, where I provide explanations to math lessons and math problems in an easy and best way possible. If you're not yet subscribed, please do click on the subscribe button. And now here we go. This is a problem over here. We have to evaluate integral cos to the power of 4x sin x dx. It is a huge one. To solve this step by step, you can see over here, this is how it is done. Now, is there an easier method? Yes, absolutely. Take out your calculator. Since this is in cos, it's in trigonometry, shift, change the mode, shift mode to radian. And now what you must do is basically choose a x value. It's up to you to choose. I can choose anything. Now, for example, over here, what I'll do is I'll say select 3. Okay? But please do keep that in mind. Once you have selected, do not forget it. So I will just write it down over here. x is equal to 3. And now the integral, put it as it is. Cos over here, x is 3. Cos to the power 4 means it's the whole power 4. So let me write the bracket over here and to the power 4. Or even without bracket, but you need to write it properly. So best way is to write the brackets. Multiply it with sine 3 and close the bracket. What is the answer? This is a huge answer. 0, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's a recurring answer, but just write uh, at least 6 decimals. 5, 5, 5 and 5. So this is the answer over here we got, and it's 207. Now, how do we find this? If you have realized, integral and differentiation is basically the inverse of each other. So if I find the differentiation of this answer, I need to land up to this integral. So all I do is do the differentiation at this particular x value. So let me type it as it is, cos to the power 5. Wait, let me first write x. That is alpha and x, keep it unknown. And over here, it is to the power phi and divided by phi. Just what I did is I just wrote the answer, the correct answer. And see when you differentiate, that's the constant. When you differentiate, it will become zero. So you can ignore it. Put the x value as three and it will definitely match. Now, how does this help? If you have four options over here, if you have four uh, MCQs, all you need to do is find the answer for this particular given question and write it down and solve the same method for all the four options. Only one is going to give you the correct answer. That would be the correct answer, basically. Let's see more problems, whether it will work in every way or no. Now, this is uh, using partial fractions. Now, if you're going to solve this by yourself, it's going to be, by writing, it's going to be a long method. So, all this. And then, finally, you integrate it. And this is, sorry, this is the answer. So, you know, this would be the answer, right? But how about we try this? Instead of, don't put the integral. Just instead of x, put some random value. Now, here, there is one important thing. Choose the x value such that your denominator will not be zero you don't choose one because your answer will be error and also here it is best to choose the ones which will not give you a negative answer why because land doesn't work in negative so you must choose a value which is giving the uh, uh, values over here positive so i will choose three x as three generally x as three works most of the cases or say six or five it'll work it'll definitely work in most of the cases now we i would avoid five because i would get five minus five as zero that wouldn't be a most accurate answer so take a value which you'll get take values such that you'll get a proper answer now let's do this over here three minus five divided by three squared minus one and now note the answer it is negative one by four this answer, when I derive it, definite integral at x is equal to 3 must give me an answer of negative 1 by 4. Let me check it. Negative 2 ln. It's alpha x minus 1. Close the bracket. Plus 3 ln alpha x plus 1. 
close the bracket and what is the x value equal to we have to put it as 3 and the answer is negative 0 0.25 which is a quarter negative 1 fourth is negative 0 0.25 they are the same so yes this is the correct answer similarly we can try it in many other problems i'll do a couple more over here just to make sure it works everywhere if you're evaluating it by expanding this is going to be the answer sorry this would be the answer and now all you need to do is take an x value again here i can take x value as three so i will just take it as three okay let me take it as let me just change the value for now because it doesn't it doesn't need to be the same value so let me take x as four even you can try it for three just the values will uh, you know the answers will be little varying but only the thing is if i put x as four over here you will get some answer if you put three you will get some other answer but that should match when you put the same value of x so now what i mean is just put over here four squared use the brackets appropriately that is four squared minus five the whole square that is 121 at x is equal to four now make sure i do the definite integral over here and i need to get the answer 121 so alpha x to the power of phi sorry it's phi not two over here and then minus 10 x to the power three that is shift on this symbol over here and lastly we have plus 25 x now if you're thinking why i'm not putting the c because the derivative of any constant is zero so i'm avoiding it and then four the answer is 121 now if you had put say three over here you'll get a different answer and that will match so this is how you can easily solve for any problem we have done a similar problem already you can check this answer now after solving over here do check with any x value whatever i just now told you do try it by yourself and you will get the same answer check with more problems this is a LAN problem so i will just do this LAN in the sense it's natural logarithm or sometimes they pronounce it as len it's up to you now over here sorry. all you need to do is take a next value so i will take LAN say three it is 1.09861 just write few, uh, plenty of values don't write only few write at least three at least four to six you know so that you all these values must match with the answer now you get so all you need to do over here is definite de derivative the uh just put the value of x as it is over here because x number must be mentioned over here in this this uh value over here in this box over here so it's x natural logarithm x close the bracket and then you're subtracting it with again x and you're not writing the c value because it is constant and now the x value which i chose was three and the answer over here is matching so remember which x value you choose over here the same value must be chosen over here and it matches it works all the times we have done similar problem so please do try it by yourself and then double check the answers over here you need to substitute over here this is supposed to be cos power 5 x and cos power 7 x and same way try them if you found it useful please do like it do share it among your friends and do subscribe to my channel for more innovative and interesting stuff thank you one and all